Hello dear teachers. How are you? Are you doing fine? I hope. Now, the good news is you guys are doing great with the mathematics classes. I believe if you put a little more effort, you will be doing good in the English as well as in the science classes. Now, this is the English class. In this class, we will be discussing about Unit 3, like all those stories. Yes? Now, there are five stories and you will go through all these stories in five different classes. To complete this Unit 3, you should take at least 10 classes. In one class, you will just make it a storytelling session. That means you will just tell the story to the students and in another class, you can do some exercises regarding the story. This is why we are going to conduct this class. Follow me and in unit 3, I am going to give you this one class only because rest of the things are the same. They are story. So I am doing one story and showing you how you should teach these stories in the classroom. You follow the same strategy for rest of the four stories. Did you get me? I hope you have got me. Now let's just focus on the thing that I was talking. Stories. The class one it is talking about the story of a thirsty crow. Now in the story class you will mostly start the class using your native language. That means the Rohingya language. Like this. Children, today I am going to tell you a story. Do not give them the book. Do not show them the book. Nothing. Do not open the book. Do not write anything on the board. You just start telling them a story. Like this. Pachara, I am going to ask you a call. Are you ready? Okay. Eta Thirsty Crow Golpo. What is the story about? It is about the Thirsty Crow. Then you start explaining the whole story in your Rohingya language first. Just like this. Onegage Makosau acta kak chilo. Kakta kyo chilo? Kubi Jishna to chilo. Mane or kub pani pipasha peche. And he was just searching for water. Panin Kuch Kutisilo, Panikos Ho Kujeba Chilona, Hotta Pure Eta, Colosu Mode, she dek the pillow, the Uta Modekichu, Panias. But she chased a curo panita, Kete Barcilona. Then Kiho, then he got an idea. Ototu Pathore took Rene, Fil de Laglo, Colosher Vitore, Abum Panita Acta Somakilo, Purachula, Abum Panta Keshe, Bechegalo. That is the story. So you tell it in your native tongue in an explanatory way, make it dramatic. So that you start reading the story in English. Then you ask the student to open your book and now you will read that story in English. Then you read it like this. You read it like this. Once Upon a time, there was a crow. He was very thirsty. He flew all over looking for water. But he could not find anywhere. He felt very weak and almost lost all hope. Now, this is how you read the first para, then you explain the meaning of it. 
ওকে সো একটা কাক ছিল এর কি করতেছিল এক জায়গা থেকে আরেক জায়গা যাচ্ছিল সে খুবই তৃষ্ণার্থ ছিল এবং তার সে কি করতেছিল পানি খুঁজছিল নাও দিস ইজ হাউ ইউ এক্সপ্লেইন দা সিচুয়েশন লুক এট দিস পিকচারস ইট উইল অলসো টেল ইউ সামথিং अबाउट द एग्जैक्ट कंडीशन ऑफ द क्रो नाउ गो टू द नेक्स्ट पिक्चर इट्स ऑल टॉकिंग अबाउट द पिक्चर सडनली ही सो दिस जार राइट ही सो अ जार और जग बिलो अ ट्री ही फ्लू स्ट्रेट डाउन ही फ्लू स्ट्रेट डाउन टू सी इफ देयर वाज एनी वाटर नाउ once he went there he found there are water in that jar now look what the book is saying the crow tried to push his head into the jug what he did he tried to push his head into the jug sadly he found that the neck of the jug was too narrow that means it is very narrow you of course don't forget to tell the meaning of some words the students are finding new like this word narrow narrow means something is very narrower now he tried to tilt the jug that means he tried to tilt it to see if he could get the water anyway but he could not get the water the next picture is saying this one the crow thought hard for a while that means he was thinking what to do what i can do what i should do to get the water otherwise i'll die if i don't drink the water now then he started to looking around what he do he started to looking around and then he found there are some pebbles pebbles look at this this is pebbles p e w b l e s it's pebbles now he hit upon a plan that means he got an idea he hit upon a plan he got an idea what was that idea he started picking all these pebbles one by one and he started to drop it in the jar just look at this he took it from here and put it in the jar show the students the picture and tell them what exactly is happening as more and more people he kept bringing and putting in the water it took the place of the water and the water keep rising now look at this as more and more people filled the jug the water level kept rising soon it was high enough for the crow to drink his plan had worked that means he got an idea he used that idea and that idea worked and that's why he could drink the water now what is the moral of this story the moral of this story is always keep looking for an idea there is always a solution to a problem now this is what you need to make sure your student understand that means they should get encouraged after reading this story that we always should work harder now then you go to the exercise and you could ask the questions what happened and then the are the two false statements we have i know you already know how to do the exercise right so this is how you teach the stories it is not about memorizing the story it's about how much they can read it improve their reading habit so for they have been reading small sentences right so through this story they'll be able to read more that's why these stories are given in the lectures okay that's it guys that's all for unit 3 you should go through all the stories like this